Yes, hello, is this Tracy I'm calling from the Sears credit department. Were you at Sears recently? No. Um, somebody was at Sears recently from this phone number. They purchased a, or had returned perhaps, a vacuum, a bagless vacuum cleaner? Uh-huh. Right. That, um, would be my, that would be my wife. You returned the vacuum cleaner? Yes. Okay, um, yeah, see... Um, I'm calling from the credit department, and we've we've looked into this this phone number, this history of returns, and um, you know, because you have to leave the phone number for each return, that's actually stored in the database. And apparently, phone, your per history, your account, there's actually a long history of fraudulent returns. And I'm just asking, what was wrong with the vacuum cleaner? A long history of fraudulent returns. Right. What was wrong with the vacuum cleaner? I'm I'm going to ask a final time. Um, sir, I don't know. The the vacuum was my wife's, and I don't know exactly what happened to it. Hmm. I I purchased the vacuum for her, right. and I don't know what happened to it. She told me that she took it back, and you guys exchanged it, and she was happy with that. Right. Okay. Well. So, either way, we've it's been there's definitely been fraudulent activity going on with these returns. Um, as you're aware, people like to take advantage of our return policy, and, and use it to like I don't know I don't know what perhaps your wife could be up to, but she sounds pretty devious. Um, do, you, do you know where? How, do you have her cell phone number? Um, no, she doesn't have a cell phone number. Um, when would I be able? You can reach her at. When would I? I, I, don't, I don't. I don't understand what you're well, getting at. Perhaps that you could be accountable. Well, if if she's not available, perhaps you could take accountability for her actions because you know we don't appreciate this type of thing. I, I don't know why you're being so rude. Your right. store returned the vacuum. You, you need to ask the questions at the return. You know, whatever is going on. If you think there's something fraudulent, you don't have to return it. Yeah, and we looked into it, so I don't know why, you know, you're trying to give me the runaround. Well, you shouldn't have done it in the first place if you feel it is fraudulent. Yes. You don't have to call me and be a freaking asshole hey, on the phone. Hey, listen, I just explained it. And there's the fact, no sense in that. You're, you're trying, to, you're trying I'm to... I'm not the one who returned the goddamn thing. Listen, you're getting defensive. That in and of itself brings up a red flag, okay? <laughs> I'm going to have to... You know, ask you to be cooperative on the phone with me, and I'm just trying to receive some information. No, from you're me. the one that started being a dick. No, okay. Well, listen, you're the one whose whose wife is up to I don't know what, trying to scam our credit department, and I'm no, on to you. I'm on to you, shady folks. All right. She's not. Listen. And she'll tell you she's not, and you can't prove that she is because she's not. That yeah, that makes sense. Listen, I'm just gonna need you to tell me when your wife will be available, so I can get some kind of reassurance that will be. She'll be taking it's accountability. Not vacuum cleaner. Something happened to it. She brought it back. She returned it. You exchanged it. End of story. I think she must have been That's using. Problem with the fucking thing. You should have fucking investigated it right there. I think she broke it because she don't, was using don't it to. Don't call me and be a fucking dick. Listen, buddy. Motherfucker. I think I know I'll what. Fucking, I'll fuck you up. I think what happened was your yeah. wife must yeah, have. No, we're, we're defrauding Sears. You know what? I'll never shop at your goddamn store again, Let's, motherfucker. What happened was your wife was using the vacuum cleaner to suck out her vag because you can't satisfy her, and she must have broken oh, it. Oh, yeah, that's funny. That's yeah. funny. I'd she like must have broken the damn thing. I'd beat the fucking snot out of you, little fucking pisshead motherfucking self. <laughs> motherfucker. Come over. Don't ever call me again. Why don't you come on over? I'm right here. I'm right at Sears. <laughs> Yes, hello, Sears Credit Department. How can I help you? Yeah, um, I need your complaint department. I'm actually not going to put... Are you the one I just talked to? Yes, I recognize your voice. I'm not going to put you through to yeah. the complaint department. Yeah, I want the complaint department. I'm not going to do that, sir. Yeah, I got your name. I got your name. I'm going to I'm gonna freaking file a serious fucking complaint. I am pissed. Okay, well... This is bullshit. You know... You have no right. You have no right to call me. You know, and, and for what you did, motherfucker. I, you have no right. I think we can actually resolve this matter. Here's what I. No, I you cannot. Perhaps, I'm going to fucking file a complaint to the highest fucking department I can find. How about you know? I have a proposition. Maybe um, perhaps we could put this all behind us. I'm willing to take your wife's name off the fraudulent credit list, if perhaps um, you know, I could come over to your house and you know, maybe suck out her pussy. Now you're really gonna give it, motherfucker. You are gonna fucking die. It was just a proposition. Uh, now you're making no. death threats. You're gonna fucking you're gonna get it, motherfucker. 
I, I, I hope to fucking find you in person. I really fucking do. I'm gonna. Oh, I want your. I want your supervisor. I want your complaint department. No, I want it now. Just you come get over. Get me on the phone with somebody else. You know where our location is. Just come the fuck over, fatty. You sound like a big old fat fuck over the phone. Yeah, I'll find you. I'll find you, you smart ass son of a bitch. Is that why your wife's unsatisfied with you? Because I'm gonna stick a fucking vacuum cleaner so far up your fucking ass. You're gonna be sucking fucking shit out of your fucking ass for fucking years, motherfucker. Is that why you had to return yours? Because that's what your wife's on. <laughs> so now he's gone. <laughs> yes, hello. Uh, can I speak to Steve, please? There's nobody Steve? by that name. Oh, there is. And you're the one that just called called my house. About the vacuum. Was that you? There's nobody by that name here, and yes, that was me. That was you? Yes. Uh, what the fuck is your problem? Why did you tell my husband I used it on my vagina? Yeah, because I don't appreciate your scams. You know what? I want your supervisor's name and number. You've lost your job. Do you that... understand me? How did you... You've lost your job. Okay, well, there's nobody... There's nobody by the name Steve here, so... Well, then, did you call my number? Yes. Why are you doing that? Because we need to get to the bottom of this. We need to get down to the bottom of your scams. What are you talking about? What scams? <sighs> okay, you know full well that you can't be returned... Your long history of fraudulent returns, when we looked into your name, and apparently you're the person who's um been trying to scam our credit department, I don't have any credit with you. What are you talking about? If you make these fraudulent returns, I don't know what exactly you're up to. But all all we do I know do. is that it's all pretty All I devious. did was return a vacuum. That was it. That was all I returned. Right, and we're going to have to be, you know, prosecuting this because you've been making a lot of fraudulent returns. You've This, this is actually the third one over the limit. You're, you're lucky you weren't contacted sooner the last time you tried this. What are you, I returned one vacuum, that's it. What are you saying, what else I returned? You know what you did. And I got, no, I got, no. listen, I got I a little frustrated. I got a little frustrated want, with your husband. So, you know, we had a little back and forth. It got a little hostile. I apologize. A little back and forth? Right, we got you hostile. You will lose your job. I uh, guarantee it. Well, there's nobody by the name Steve here, so I don't think that's going to happen. You know what? <laughs> we'll track your ass down. You will go down, and you will lose your job. How dare you talk to somebody that way? Well, perhaps... How dare you? You know, we don't need to show you any standard phone etiquette, given that you're the hussy trying to scam our credit department. Oh, now you're calling me a hussy? Right, you sound you like know a, what? You sound like All a of fat this sting. is being recorded. It, Just yeah. so you know. You know this this is, is being recorded, and it will be played for your boss. That's fine. I appreciate it. And you will lose your job. Go ahead, ma'am. There's nobody by the name Steve here, so he's not going to know who to prosecute. Well, what's your name, then? I'm not going to give that to you. Oh, you're all big, man, and mighty. What's your name, pussy? I'm actually leaving town, and I'm finding a new means of employment shortly, so I oh, can... Oh, good. Good, because you know what? You need to be fired, and you will be... Uh, charges will be pressed against you for talking to me the way you did, and my husband. Well, actually, what the, the hell is your problem? You, know, we don't you need to be in a mental hospital. <laughs> Why do you talk to people that way? The scamming is not something that we take you lightly. Kiss and we're not gonna, you kiss your mom with that mouth? You know, we're not going to just... you kiss your mom with that trash mouth? Well, no, but I kissed your husband's mom with that mouth. I also licked out her uh, pussy. No, you made the comment that what did I do with the vacuum? Use it in my vagina? Did you say that or not? Yeah, I mean, you do sound pretty fat. I wouldn't be surprised if it could fit up there. Oh, my God. You know what? I dare you to come to my house, and I will personally kick your ass. We we, Bring we, it on, buddy. We have your you address. come to my house. We have your address here in the system. I'll be right over. Oh, good, good. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah. And you will lose You will lose your job. I promise you that. Your husband so kind of sounded... So you leave town, and it's best you go now, because... My husband finds you, he's gonna fucking kick your ass. Your husband sounded like a transsexual, to be honest. Maybe we could have, like, a three-way when oh, I get there. He's a transsexual. He kind of sounded That's like it. That's what the problem is. It sounds like it. That's what your problem is. Maybe we could have a three-way. You got a vagina envy going, you weirdo. You fucking weirdo. I will have your job. I promise you that. I don't so think so. So you better just get a move on now. I already told you, I'm looking for new means of employment.
You are a disgusting, evil human being. Listen, man. That's what you are. You are a disgusting, evil human being. I don't know why you're trying to take out your shitty marriage on me. I mean, obviously, if you were, you broke the vacuum cleaners, so you tried to return it. I mean, we don't appreciate your scams. You know what? They did return it. There was no problem. So it's your problem. There was not a problem. Okay. This is getting a little redundant. I think I'm going to have to hang up on you. Um, yeah, because when my... What was that? Uh, get it out. I'm going to be hanging up on you. You know what? I'm having your job. Go for it. And you're going to get your ass kicked before it's over. You know, that sounds like a threat. Your husband also threatened my life, too, so there's really nothing you can yeah, do about good, it legally. Good, good, good. How nothing... dare you speak to me so disrespectfully? How a... dare you speak to a customer that way? I have authority. What the hell's wrong with you? I have authority over you. You can't speak. You can't threaten my life. You can't do anything with the police because you've officially, your husband at least, threatened my life and you're threatening to kick my ass. I never threatened to do anything to you, so, you know, I have authority. There's nothing you can do. You shouldn't have made the... Oh, she hung up. <laughs>